my car being a very busy boy. I actually did this a few weeks ago. I meant to have this video out the week after the last one, but I got delayed on things. But here it is today. Relief etching. Simple process really. Um, I just used shellac as a resist and I painted it on, I inked it on using nibs which worked pretty good uh, but you can also use a fine paintbrush, paint it on. The key is to drop it in the solution, the copper sulfate, for a really really long time. I'm talking you know hours. So what happens to the copper sulfate? And people always say, you know, what mix is it? It varies. Because what happens is you drop in the plate, it starts etching away. And because you've got such a big open area, it's going to be slow. Starts off fast, boom, you know, starts off, and then it gets slower because it's getting weaker. What I did do about halfway through is chuck a bit of salt in. Uh, probably another handy hint is just not put too much copper sulfate um, salt water mix in. Let it go for a while and then tip a bit more in. But you can sprinkle a bit more salt in there, it makes it happen quicker. The great thing about this is, wow, it's, it's kind of like you just, whatever you paint you kind of got. And it's got a motley background. It still has that sort of speckly background, uh, especially if you've got big open areas. And that's kind of cool because it's kind of part of the printmaking process. Really like the way it inks up. I'm using just a water-based ink. Um, not water-based oils, but actual water-based ink. I'm using uh, the Schmicky ones. It's very similar to what the Japanese use in woodcut prints. It's pretty much watercolour. <laughs> so there you go. Quick technique. It works. It's a success. I didn't want to make this video very long check out some of the other videos if you want to sort of see uh, more of me just ranting on about printmaking. Till the next time, see you later.